Well, hi. Thanks for letting me into your computer. Um, today, I'm going to deviate from my music to show you some something very interesting. And take a look at this clock here. As you can see, this is the back of the clock. And this pendulum is swinging back and forth, back and forth. No, don't fall asleep now. <laughs> what we're going to do is we're going to take the battery out. And, uh, because, uh, this pendulum has nothing to do with the battery in the clock. In fact, this, clock, this battery is probably dead anyway. There we go, we took it out. So, as you can see, the battery compartment is empty. But this pendulum keeps on swinging. And, uh, Let's see if I can make it swing some a little bit better. That's about that's about how it swings all the time by itself. It just keeps moving back and forth and I don't know what makes it do that, but let's see if I can make it swing even more. But uh I was thinking, you see that round red and white thing at the bottom swinging back and forth there? Now, you know, in, in electronics, there's a rule that says uh, whenever magnetic lines of force are cut, a voltage is induced or produced, whatever. So, if there was a magnet, two magnets, let's say, one behind this round red and white thing and one in front of the red and white thing and protruding down a bit, Okay, then you would have, uh, let's say, they were the uh, poles are attracting north to the south. Then you would have magnetic lines of force. So if you inserted a copper wire in between the magnets, the uh, magnets would then be cutting the the uh, wire. In other words, uh, inducing a voltage into the wire because magnetic lines are being forced are being cut magnetic lines of force are being cut when the magnet uh, passes between the or you know uh, when the magnet goes back and forth over the wire so uh, this thing will keep going forever I'll show you the front of the clock when I move it it stops so there we go I think this clock was made in China But uh, usually that's how it runs forever. You know, it's kind of like a perpetual motion. So let's turn it around. We don't want to disturb it too much. We don't want to stop the swing of the pendulum. So what I'm thinking is, well, let's see, I wonder why it stopped. Never stopped before. Only when you make a video does things happen, right? Maybe because I'm moving around. Anyway, the top of that pendulum comes out as you can see it's got a flower on it and uh, this this the bottom piece also comes off and it looks like the the top piece will come out too but I don't want to mess with that so let's put this little flower back in there let's see how does that go in there like this. Hmm. We should have paid attention. Oh, okay, there's a hole in the shaft. Okay, there we go. Okay, so now it's swinging back and forth again. And uh, this thing, when it's sitting on a table over there, we don't. I don't even use it as a clock. Like I said, the battery is probably dead anyway. But uh, I was thinking if this kind of a thing could be upscaled, you know, with the proportional weights at the top and at the bottom, upscaled, say, eight feet high, uh, and then there were a whole lot of, there were a couple of magnets on the uh, round red and white thing down here. 
and a whole line of uh, copper wires <coughs> so that the magnets would pass, or the wires would be like in between the magnets. And then if you hook those wires into a electronic circuit with a capacitor, it would probably start charging the capacitor. And so you would, might have a per, per, uh, perpetual motion type uh, generator. But for some reason, on the desk here, it's not going as fast as it does when it's sitting on a table over there. So some experimentation needs to be done. But this thing will run forever and ever and ever once it's set up and left alone. So if there's any uh, engineers out there or inventors who can figure out why this pendulum should swing forever and ever, you can't really call it perpetual motion because eventually uh, it would wear out, you know. But uh, you make a giant one of these and put some inductors in between the magnets connected to a electronic circuit and uh, you could be making free electricity. So as you can see, it, it, it kind of, it's kind of reached this equilibrium right now and uh, it's still swinging around going back and forth, back and forth. Don't let it hypnotize you. But uh, this thing will go forever. And uh, like I said, if there are any companies out there or inventors or engineers who want to fool with this kind of a thing, go ahead and do it. Maybe you'll come up with free energy, uh, a way to beat the windmills. Because windmills are real expensive. Anyway, that's my scientific report for today. And now back to the music. <laughs>